All right, howdy, howdy, y'all. This is Pepper. Uh, we're back again with some Salt and Sacrifice. Uh, basically, they just added this is version 1.0.1. Uh, they added a new NPC merchant you can find, uh, and I just found him. So I'm just gonna show you where to find him. Here we go. Yeah, it won't take me that long. So he is in the first area, Ashbourne Village. Uh, but I'm pretty certain you have to go to the second area first, beat that first boss, uh, the the snake, not the snake, spider lady, and get the um, the tool that lets you activate uh, mage things. I'll just look in my inventory. What is it called? Aha, the mage synth supply. So uh, once you get that, <laughs> I'm just gonna book it. Here we go. <laughs> Pardon me. Ah, you know, I knew that was there. No, you guys leave me alone. Because then you can activate this and go, wee. It is a little bit of a walk, but not too bad. Okay, uh, another thing to know is you do have to beat a named mage. Uh, but luckily, uh, right next to this NPC, there is a thing for finding named mages. So uh, if you've already been this way, you can take that um, thing, the, the thing that uh, makes it so that you ride the lift up. But I'm taking the long way, just in case you have to take the long way as well. <laughs> All right, look it. All right, we. Right, and you can activate this one. Ride it across. You probably should activate this one just so you have an easier path to get back up. Uh, actually, you also probably want to take that one down because there's another one for you to activate right over there. Uh, kick this ladder down. And right here is a named mage hunt you can do. And right here is the NPC. What's this? A lost inquisitor comes to my corner. You've hunted mages with names, but have you devoured any of the nameless? Yeah. Wonderful. The mages that shed their names are those that plunge themselves further into madness. But there are treasures in this madness, and I possess many of them. I shall return to Pardoner's Vale. Find me there. Whee! And he's actually super easy to find in Pardoner's Vale. You don't have to do much searching. Bum 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 bum. Right up here. Howdy howdy. All right, sells his armor, the namekeeper stuff, which looks pretty cool actually. Like I like the mask and the stuff. I don't know about the gloves, but the rest of it's really neat. And it's, holy crap, he sells a lot of stuff. This is more stuff than he sold on my other character, so uh, it looks like his um, stock uh, gets better as you go through the game. Interesting. Hmm. Oh well, I'll look at that later. I This is my farthest character currently. Um... Because, yeah, I beat the game and I didn't want to do New Game Plus, so I deleted that character. I've done that twice now. <laughs> I beat the game and then deleted the character because I didn't want to do New Game Plus. Here we go. The I also know that the new patch also added... Not to this one. One of these mother efforts has a new weapon you can buy. I think it's this guy up here. What you got? Yeah, this one, the Hazecraft machine, which only costs 50 of the tokens. Hooray! <laughs> I don't have that guy unlocked yet on this character. Um, so yeah, that's 
that's the new patch stuff, and I'm very interested in it. The thing that I think is most amazing about this patch, though, is the Nameless Hunts. Can give you... Wait, not Nameless. The the daily ones, which is this one. They can give you... Haha, -ha, Dawnlight Tokens. You can see the fourth thing down there. Which you normally only get for doing uh, multiplayer stuff. So I can get multiplayer tokens without ever touching the multiplayer. Not that the multiplayer isn't fun, but like I really, really like that they added that in there. Um, it's okay. Anyway, thank you all for joining me. That's how you find the new NPC and merchant in this uh, this patch. Uh, I hope you all have a wonderful day. Peace.